so good morning everyone so i am dr armugam um, associate professor and head of the department of medical oncology in tirunelveli medical college hospital tirunelveli it is in tamil nadu and uh, i am uh, as a senior consultant medical oncologist in sri velshand cancer care center in tirunelveli so i am uh, working as a head of the department and in internal valley medical college hospital the cancer department is functioning from uh, since 2013 and there are three departments all the departments are functioning and taking care of all the patients in the southmost tamil nadu and most of the patients are getting benefited high in uh, in the up to at par with the private hospitals we should aware of the uh, um, uh, types of head and neck cancer the head and neck cancer which from arises from the neck to the up to the head and uh, we can take it as uh, the cancers in the oral cavity mouth or in the mouth lip and the inner side of the um, uh, cheek and the uh, node node area in these in these areas and the gland here some uh, salivary glands are there so these glands area and the skin over the face and scalp so these are the cancers and the throat throat cancer all comes into the head and neck cancer group so the uh, head and neck cancer what are all the symptoms how we know the symptoms of head and neck cancer so uh, the head and neck cancer mostly they presented with some non healing ulcer ulcer in the tongue or the inner side of the mouth or in the throat or some mass lesion in the throat or in the neck in this area this is glandular area or the lymph node area and uh, 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 the commonest presenting symptom is pain the pain because there, there is no uh, area for expansion of this mass lesions so that will produce a, a severe pain so you have to uh, check for any ulcer non healing ulcer in the mouth area buccal mucosa means that is uh, uh, the inner side of the cheek and the throat and we have to uh, careful of checking these lesions and we have to immediately consult the doctors then um, how can we uh, diagnose and uh, uh, if there is an ulcer uh, or is there is if there is a mass lesion so it it should be diagnosed with biopsy first initial investigation to confirm uh, this is cancer this uh, non healing ulcer is a cancer or this swelling is a cancer so what we have to do first first thing we have to do biopsy biopsy is nothing but tissue test some we have to remove some part of tissue and that, that should be examined under microscope and we have to find out the, is there any cancer cells in this material without uh, doing this we can't say it is cancer so this is the um, uh, so most of the uh, patients will ask without biopsy Uh, can we diagnose it's not possible we can do some investigations like scan or pet scan or whatever thing we can say it may be cancer but the cancer should be diagnosed with only histopathological examination and some of the patients will ask if we are doing some biopsy it can it may get spread no it is a wrong belief it will not spread after biopsy so biopsy is the investigation of choice to confirm it is a cancer or not then we have to do um, um, images images means ct scan or other investigations like mri even we can do pet scan before all these investigations and biopsy the proper clinical examination by a doctor so if you have any non healing ulcer or any swelling what are all the symptoms i have told so if you have to consult a doctor so the doctor should examine the site of the lesion so is it in the tongue or any any area and we have some proper clinical examination and we have to uh, according to that clinical findings we can arrive it may be a cancer or or it may not be a cancer or it may not be a 
uh, cancer and some uh, ulcers due to some infection or anything so we have to give some treatment initially so in after that initial treatment if the uh, symptoms are not relieved then we have to investigate further and that time we have to do all these investigations then how will you approach because of the depending upon the stage of the disease we have to go with the um, uh, approach means uh, other treatment aspect so what is what are all the stages so in general everyone knows that cancer has one four stages yes the likewise in the head and neck also four stages are there but uh, in the early stage early stage we have to take it as a stage 1 and 2 it is confined to a part particular part then it is very easy to treat and it is completely curable on that stage so we have to remember in the early stage means 1 and 2 without extension to the adjacent structures or extensive nodal node means uh, uh, some uh, nodes in uh, spread nodal spread will uh, will not we can achieve the curative treatment so in stage 1 and 2 you can completely cure the disease so early uh, symptoms and early consultation with the doctor is more important for the uh, diagnosis and we can go with the uh, curative attempt so what are all the modalities of treatment are there so we have to um, we have to think uh, there are main three modalities mainly surgery next radiotherapy and another treatment is chemotherapy so what is the mainstay of treatment in head and neck cancer mainstay of treatment is surgery so if we are presented in the I already told that stage 1 and 2 so we can go upfront with upfront means for, from the beginning itself we can go for surgery if a lesion is in the lip we can go for surgery if a lesion is in the tongue within the stage 1 and 2 we can go for directly go for surgery in a advanced stage means stage 3 or in a stage 4 we can downsize the tumor means you have to shrink the tumor with some modalities of treatment like radiation radiation means it is a uh, x-ray like uh, material that will uh, um, uh, shrink the tumor and we have to combine with the chemotherapy chemotherapy means it is a drug which kills the cancer cells so we have to combine and we have to execute both modalities of treatment and we have to downsize downsize means we have to shrink the tumor and make it operable you can go for then we can make the patient under go for surgery then next is the chemotherapy in the chemotherapy means if a uh, patient presented again presented with the recurrence recurrence means the the lesion after a one modality of treatment one means the surgery or radiation then again the growth again the growth is not controlled with the primary treatment one or two years later or three years later the patient will get, develop another uh, growth uh, and that may spread to the some other sites also and that time the only treatment option is chemotherapy chemotherapy means the uh, drugs which kills the cancer cells so now there are uh, multiple uh, newer drugs are developed like immunotherapy targeted therapy and oral uh, oral means tablets like uh, treatment is available for the control of the disease so what is the um, uh, prognosis prognosis means uh, how the patient will survive if a patient developed a head and neck cancer head and neck cancer in stage 1 and 2 already i told that uh, they will uh, we can make normal so other advanced locally advanced stages only we can control and we can uh, do surgery we can do give, give radiation and everything but the, there is a chances of recurrence so that means recurrence means reappearance of the tumor in same site or some other spreaded site so what is the uh, how will you uh, prevent so already first i told that there is a this is a lifestyle disease we have to avoid smoking so our lifestyle disease means we are inducing so major causes are smoking 90 percent there is a uh, link between smoking and alcohol consumption is associated with the head and neck cancer so we have to avoid smoking and next is a stop or limit alcohol consumption this is another thing and uh, if we have some sharp teeth 
then we have to be careful and we have to consult a, a dental doctor and remove the teeth. Simple, a sharp teeth will cause cancer in the uh, oral cavity because of the repeated uh, scratches in the uh, mucosa of uh, that means uh, inner side of the uh, cheek that will produce uh, some ulcer that non-healing ulcer due to the sharp teeth may turn into cancer. So, we have to remove that teeth and the avoid the some uh, um, uh, spicy food and uh, we have to keep the oral hygiene in good way. So, what can uh, I do? We have to um, uh, create awareness among everyone about the cancer and the head and neck cancer symptoms. So, uh, and it can be um, uh, uh, st uh, avoid uh, smoking and it can be uh, we can if we could smoking and alcohol consumption the head and neck cancers 80 percent cancers is reduced and another one risk factor for the head and neck cancer is infection the infection is HPV HPV uh, it means it is a virus it is a sexually transmitted virus so that causes some infection that leads to some um, uh, cancer in the head and neck area so that is also preventable so we have to uh, uh, have uh, safe uh, methods of sex and also we have to use some vaccine is available for the this hpv that will prevent one not only the uh, oral cavity or oropharyngeal cancer it also prevent the cervical cancer so cervical means in the it's a part of the uterus so that cancer is also prevented with this HPV uh, vaccine. So, in the uh, prevention, how to prevent the head and neck cancer? So, I'll, first I already told that it is a lifestyle disease. So, uh, with the our own habits only uh, we are inducing this cancer. So, avoid smoking, completely stop smoking and the quit or limit alcohol consumption and we have to take care of the our oral hygiene. If we found any sharp teeth so, we have to take care with the dental uh, doctor and they have to remove it and the avoid more spicy food, more hot food and the uh, we have to create awareness among everyone for the um, head and neck cancer and we have to um, uh, practice our um, uh, health in a, in a uh, good way and uh, health is wealth in this month, the head and neck awareness month. I would like to um, participate the whole community for the creating awareness among everyone and we have to um, uh, practice good, good habit and we have to take care of our health. Thank you.